I was browsing Black Magic Designs form, and they're the company who makes DaVinci Resolve, as you can probably tell from the title, or this right here, and the Black Magic Design logo up here. Um, so they updated DaVinci Resolve to 14.3, so yeah. Um, here's how you update it. So go to this link here, I'll have it in the description, usually, I remember. So yeah, it'll be in the description. Um, and then, of course, op open it, and then I have it here. Um, and then you can choose DaVinci Resolve 14.3 Studio or DaVinci Resolve 14.3. You only need Studio if you've paid for the software and it's like $300. So you have likely not paid for it. Because most of the time, you probably don't need a $300 video editing software. Um, I'm going to blur this out because, you know, you don't need to see my address and shiz. Because for some reason it puts my address next to which features should we add. And then it also has, like, my other stuff. So we're going to cancel that because I've already downloaded it and extracted it to my desktop. Um, you would just go to your downloads folder, open it up, extract the zip file, and yeah. But I need the extra space because my SSD is incredibly too small. Actually, I just freed up a bunch of space, so apparently not. But prior to this recording attempt, I attempted it once more and I failed horribly. So we're trying this again. And this takes some time, so yeah. Ignore that black screen there. OBS takes a bit to update. We're back. Then make sure you extract it because in the prior attempt of recording or er, to record this video, um, I had to extract it to get it to install the thing properly because otherwise it couldn't find the DaVinci Resolve installer dot, or Resolve installer dot MSI. So make sure you do that. It, it didn't, it couldn't do something right. I'm pretty sure it was the resolve installer dot MSI. Maybe. <laughs> um, choose where you want it to go, I guess. You probably don't need this, let's be honest here. But I have met people who don't know how to install softwares. So, yeah, here's how you install a software whilst we're at it. Ooh, validating install. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, just remove the shortcut. Did you see that, guys? I'm, I'm heartbroken. Oop. There goes my reminder to record a YouTube video at 9 p.m. Um, could have probably chosen a. I mean, I do have one at 4 p.m. too, but I rarely actually listen to that one. Or. Yeah, listen to it, use it, acknowledge it. Same thing, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Registering product. Oh, here we go. Oh, yes, we also have... Task Manager covering up everything else. Resolve installed successfully. And then it'll close out. You can delete that. Um, so, you have your project server and you just have Resolve. Generally, ooh broke my shortcut. Man, it's already, okay, whatever. Unpin. So then you have to re-add it to your taskbar if you updated it, or if you were installing it for the first time, you gotta actually not, you have to not re-add it. You have to add it for the first time. You don't have to add it, I should say. I just like it down there because I use it a lot. Um, your project server, I'm not really sure how you use it. I'm pretty sure that was intended to be a studio ish and thing but I've never figured out how to use it so once again I just chuck it away usually um, I'm not sure how long that's been there actually but whatever um, and then open up resolve it's my favorite thing to do open up DaVinci Resolve for the first time after updating it now we'll see that my hard drive probably oh it has more space now brilliant so I did just delete the installer so that would make sense. Um, there's their 4.6K camera. Not not like money, but like resolution, I'm assuming. That's what it is. I, I hope they don't just have the money or the cost listed here. Covered in dust, 
paint, powdered paint. Ooh, what's this? Upgrade the local database if you already had one. And then hope it doesn't bugger up or crash. Oh, yes. Haha, -ha, second desktop. You don't need to see the messy. Ah, here it is. It's done. It's fixed it. I wonder if they've improved the RAM usage on the project thing. Roll back up. Because yesterday, when I did my best. Okay. Fine. Checkmate. Here we go. Yesterday, when I did my video on whatever, it was using less than this, so it has gone up a bit. Come on. Hit at least a. Here we go. Let's just. Oh. Hey, I did actually have a folder. I'm like. Let's start scrubbing through, maybe. Oh, that's. Uh, that's not usual. Now, uh, what? That's broken. Come on. Damn you. <laughs> okay, so let's load up a project. I'm just curious. How, oh, yeah. There we go. Ooh. Actually, that's a bit lower than it was yesterday. Because yesterday when I finished editing... Oh, no. It's not lower. It's going up. It's only about a 20 megabyte difference. And that's increased. So, it's not that bad, actually. Um, if we go to, like, a bigger project. I don't have... What's a bigger project? I... What was that Kerbal Space Program time-lapse that I, like, actually put effort into? Ah! The Mun Minimus and back. Haha. <laughs> Be useful if I would put Kerbal Space Program in the title. Bloody hell. But I didn't. I hate myself sometimes. If I never mentioned that. There we go. 3.3 .3 gigabytes. Um... Yeah, I've got a lot to trim out of this now. So thank you for watching this video. I will see you next time. Goodbye.